Hey guys, welcome back. It's Amy. Today we're going to play Home, a unique horror adventure by Benjamin Rivers. The game will be saved automatically at certain points. However, we recommend you put aside an hour and a half and complete Home in a single sitting. So it's not a long game, so I'll sit here and play it through. Probably not on one episode for you guys, just because an hour and a half is a long time. Turn up the sound, turn off the lights. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Oh. Oh, my head. Where was I? It was so dark. There was something by my feet. A flashlight? So this is us. So how is a pixelated style horror game? Okay. Let's go. Let's just... What's that? You guys, you think that's uh, ketchup on the floor? Probably not. That house... Where was I? Calm down, controller. Oh, hello! There was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? Did we have mismatched clothes? He's got brown pants and a blue shirt. That's weird. Oh, hello, kitty. Uh, you go downstairs? Or you keep going left? Let's go left. Oh, look, there's a, a nice hole in the wall. That's fun. Okay, computer. The desk had a computer and some papers on it. And a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but did I open the drawer? So you don't remember? Yes, you opened it. Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo. Looked like the store of some kind. Okay. Why did this look so familiar? Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. I don't see no blood on you, bro. Let's go. So now we have to go down the stairs. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. All right, so we'll go left. Or we'll go downstairs later. What in the world? A thin, gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic, but exhausted. Did I free it? Should we free it? I mean, it's a rat. Uh, you know what? Sure. We freed it. It went in the hole. The trap disappeared, too? Okay. A shovel? A collection of rusty tools. They looked like they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in a damp, smelling dirt. Why weren't they in the shed? They've been used recently, haven't they? Oh, is that me and my one? I found a picture of a couple. It looked like it'd been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? It depressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a faraway click somewhere. A faraway click. It looks like... Actually, I bet... The man is the one on the right side. I have a woman's hair. So we've got to click somewhere. Because we know that there is a downstairs and an upstairs. Down. Up. A bookcase. The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. It seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. Uh-oh. In here, maybe? Um... An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach, but let's get a move on. A black and white photo looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guess. There was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? Yes. I flipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. Okay, so I don't know where the far-off click went was. 
There were scribbles of all kinds on random scraps of paper and notes about some kind of water tower. Do you mean the one by the old train yard? Maybe. Downstairs. What? What? The door was taped up and seemed to be stuck. But this, by the smell, I guessed it led to the kitchen. That switch in the wall unburked. The door had been unlocked. Okay, so this is what we unlocked. We're not going down there. Not right now. We need to finish exploring. What? What? Let's go. There were sheets of paper all over the kitchen table. It looked like a series of names were written down, but they were too smudged to read. I could only make out a few of the notes. Key card. Ah, ah, ah. Stop it, I mean. Ocker. Last one, I promise. It didn't make much sense at the time. Oh, that was that rat. Cause and effect. You burned a trophy for letting the, the rat go. Okay. I can dig it. Oh, the rat let us in here. Maybe. That's where we came from. I look like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn, and there was mud caked all over my shoes. So we got the front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. Probably the hole in the ground back there. The bathroom was spotless. Everything had been wiped to a machine. I wonder if it was the man's wife who did the cleaning or him. There was a photo development tray lying on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they were pretty blurry. I thought I saw what looked like treetops. Who's taking pictures of treetops? This is all still here? Yes. So the only place to go is that room way over there. Alright, let's go. The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. I didn't know it was a box. I thought it was like a hatch. Maybe I had found a way out. I must have moved it, right? Yes. I heaved the box forward, and it finally gave. Whew. Let's go down. There was a ladder going underground, where the box was. A dank smell rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? Yeah. I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. Okay. Footprints in the dirt looked more like more than one kind and a lot of traffic. Oh, no. Places all over were marked on the old map of town. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail station. Well, we know that we need to go there. Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait. There were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more. Tried to find some kind of information. Oh, Rachel, please be okay. I wanted to rush home. But I had to find a way out first, and I needed to see what else was down there. So we go down even more. It was so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? The desk looked old and was caked with grime. On it was a stack of old, faded paper, covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out, and illegible notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. He, if, e, he, u, er, af, o, None of it made any sense to me. It's probably your name. And other people's names. That's definitely bones. <laughs> there looked to be bones half dug into the ground. And the remains looked old. The faded clothes that stuck up amongst the dirt looked familiar. They looked like clothes that woman was wearing in the photo I found. Was this the man's wife? Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. I kind of feel like I'm pushing through pretty fast. Some kind of homemade wreck. Slung together with poorly cut wood and rope. It was caked with the old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that. Did they? Hooks. Rusted hooks. Like the kind you'd find in a butcher. Hung from the ceiling. They looked pitted and worn from heavy use. That man upstairs. Did he do this? Well, he's dead now. Crudely made shelves. They looked like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. The labels were worn and slick, but I could still see the warnings. I'm assuming that's a down. It looked like a cage. It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. Uh, blood. Definitely blood. That place was getting worse all the time. I knew I had to keep moving. Hold on, we can't leave? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't understand why it didn't. Okay. That looks like Slenderman. Some kind of old boxes. They look like they were years old. Wait a minute. These boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remembered throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the hell were they doing there? Oh my. So they've been stalking me. Why didn't you change into clean clothes? What? What? Oh, it's that. Oh, goodness. I remembered noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. There's a door. What? There's a skeleton. There was a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Yes. Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. Oh, it's like in the wall. Aww. You know, you know how I love games with the references. I had the rope now. There was, there must have been a use for it around. Okay. I thought I could like take the hook out of the wall. We descend the ladder. The rope I found would let me climb down the ladder safely. Did I climb down? Yes. I could hear a faint hum, and the smell from before started to get worse. Oh, no. A bunch of old newspapers, wheat pasted together. A message had been hastily smeared on it. Keep out. Danger due to cave-in. Oh, no. We're gonna die here. Nothing, really? A whole room with nothing in it? Okay. My hands tingled from the, the burn of sliding down that rope. It was lucky I found that. Who knows what would have happened if I had jumped down. Still, it was all I could do to not have rushed out of that awful place. That rack, those terrible tools. What the hell was going on back there? The metal door groaned as I leaned into it, causing my heart to skip a beat at the sound. Uh-oh. What do you think is going to happen? Well, you know what? We'll find out next time, won't we? I'm going to have to leave it here, guys. And then we'll come back and play it again next time. Y'all have fun now. Game on. I also recorded a pixel horror game for you and I'll, we should be seeing that. <laughs>